the Silver Creek Studios. We're not back from the Silver Creek Studios. We're no. back, but we're also at the Silver Creek Studios. No, you Jeez. always say from. For another episode. This Why are you so, fucking this so up, man? Fucked it so, he so fucked this up. Now I gotta no, bring you know it back why? with my singing. Because somebody gave me shit the other day because I said, we're back who from the fucking, Silver Creek Studios. And they were like, you, you weren't at the Silver Creek Studios and then you're back from there. Hey, who gave you shit? Rick. Fuck Rick. Rick. He's hey, a, Rick, I've been Rick. doing this shit He's for a, a damn listener. year. Rick, you a royal fucking listener. Royal, oh, Rick, royal I, listener. I, I tell you right listen. now, what happened to you? I'm Holy gonna shit. All right, fireball. stop. I'm fucking over. teabagging you, Rick. It's <laughs> coming on you. Balls <laughs> across the nose. It's coming down <laughs> on the sand. We are back from the Silver Creek <laughs> Studios. Studios. We are back. This is... Get a load of this. That's right. This is J Ryan. Ryan took this over is R Y N, and I'm J O E to right. the motherfucking This is a B. cluster. Wow. But, but well, yeah, welcome. We welcome. are back, coming to you from That's right. the Silver Creek Studios. Yeah. So, who's it? Rick. Rick. Shut Rick. up. Rick. Shut up, Rick. Watch it, Rick. <laughs> Rick. I bet you sit on your balls when you sit down at night. Back no, off. That means you, you got sit on your big balls. balls. You ever no, sat on a ball? Long, I sit on my balls all the time. They're long. It's terrible. Oh, it's fucking terrible. I sit down on my. Do you recliner. sit on one more than the other, like well, lefty more than righty. Actually, I just sit on the fucking the skin that is the bag. Oh, it's fucking terrible. It's terrible. Oh, uh, I've got. I, yeah, I yeah. have grown into a nice long ball. Wow, that's hmm. that's good to know. I think not really. <laughs> the I only feel, good thing I, I will feel say that the, the, right the only the only good thing is is I produce a lot of semen now. Oh wow, Jesus! I mean, oh. more so than the average man should. Yeah, well, the average yeah. forty plus year old man too. Right. Good for you. Good for you. Oh yeah, I could fucking put yeah. on a fire. So wow. if you're With a semen, a first time listener, wow, just now hearing uh, about uh, <laughs> Joe's, Joe's semen semen production, uh, you can reach us at uh, <laughs> you can reach load us this at, podcast at, at gmail dot com or at load this podcast or you can Twitter talk to, and Instagram. Or you can talk to a priest. <laughs> you could <laughs> also do that. And you can yeah, find you us on YouTube. Some holy water. Get a load of this podcast. I'm fucking sweating. I think it's from this fucking shit beer you forced down no, my gullet. It yeah. could be the gallon of Jack Daniels you've consumed. <laughs> <laughs> God, I don't think it not, is. It, not, I, not. I don't ever feel this way prior. <laughs> He wakes up in the morning. He's like, "God, I feel like shit. It must have been that fucking burger I ate last yeah. night." He's like, "No, no, could, couldn't, couldn't have been a half gallon of Jack Daniels. Where did I get all these shits from? <laughs> oh my god, it must have been that potato chip. Yeah. That I ate. Why does my stomach hurt? It's got to be the chicken." <laughs> So, uh, speaking Damn of uh, beast, <laughs> I'll never <laughs> eat that again. Speaking of feeling old and uh, your balls hanging low, well, do your balls hang a- low? <laughs> do they follow to the grove? We, we, <laughs> we had a listener who recommended a topic. Listener, mm. who is this? Of uh, want to Rick fe- again? Want to feel old? So some some do, pop do, culture references that are gonna make you do we need feel help with this like an old motherfucker. Dude, uh, look at my beard; it's fucking <laughs> my gray beard's yeah. weird. See, this is coming from a man with no gray hair in his I've, beard. I pl- I pluck. Yeah, no I get shit. rid of them. I I groom. You pluck your green. I get rid of that gray shit. Yeah. Well, I did that one point too. I did that, that ten many. years ago. Yeah. And, I uh, only pluck the gray b- hairs off my ass. It's because I'm masculine enough that yeah, I keep you it are. colored. So one day, son. One day, young man, I'll give up eventually. You're gonna be like, well, uh, this is a lost cause. I'll and, embrace it. Yeah, when I'm as you old know who, as you guys, you know, who, yeah. you're not that much younger than I'm us. Way no, younger. I swear to God, I would have stuffed you in the locker. I guarantee <laughs> we were in the same That's high right. school. Right. All right. I will say this though. Hey, yo, Father Time wins all battles. I know. I know. It's coming. Gray beard's uh, coming. So gray bush is coming. I didn't so he's gonna time, wake. He's uh, gonna wake up tomorrow with like yeah a billion gray hairs in his beard just because he he, he, he his he dick's tipped, gonna look like it's in a snowstorm. Karma's a bitch. <laughs> he tipped oh, right down there. He tipped it fate tonight. I did. All right. All right. I didn't have time to, to do sleep. a lot of research, so I'm only gonna reference the actual uh, references from the recommendation. So there's only we'll just get into it. All right. All right. Just fucking do it. What are you doing there? <laughs> I don't know. He's scrolling so, through his phone. Uh, I'm scared. I'm, I'm going to ask a simple question here, or a, it's just a that. reference, really. It's just going to. I don't know. We're doing this. Want to feel old? I do. Back to the Future. No, I don't want to feel old. Yes. The movie. Yeah. Marty traveled back in time 30 years to 1955. Right. The movie is now older to us than Marty's trip to the 50s. Mm-hmm. It's been yeah, longer I... since that movie came out than he went yeah, back in time. 2015 would have been his right, 30 2015, years. 2015, right. Yeah. 
But it's just crazy to think when you watch that movie, you think he went so far back in time to this other world of well, 50s did. cars and yeah, and but it's been longer now, like fucking crazy. And then he went back to 2050. Something's got to be done right. about your kids. What do we become what, assholes? What? <laughs> no, <laughs> she married your kids. Start dating blacks. <laughs> hey, no. Well. Well, I, I don't really have a problem that with that. Christopher Doc? Lloyd was, uh, yeah, his <laughs> family guy. What? I don't have really, I don't really have a problem with that. Doc, hey, Doc I've been uh, out. Maybe we shouldn't hang out with anymore. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna edit that out. So, no, uh, that's, that's a, great, a family that's guy a family episode. Guy. It's, it's not, not Joe me. original it's stuff. Not, it's okay. uh, he's he's quoting things. Yes. Okay. he's quoting <laughs> Seth MacFarlane. We all love Christopher <laughs> Lloyd. All right, want to feel old? It's been 24 years since the movie Apollo 13 was in theaters. Fuck that. No, it hasn't. Yes, it has. Well, 24 I'm, years. And that movie came well, yeah, out it's been 25 nine, years after the actual events of Apollo 13. So that so was nearly nine, been... Do you know... Was it 97 then, and I Do you know... And So it was 20... Carry the two. 24 see, years right. since Apollo. Years, so it's it 23 years since we gave two 95. shits about Gary Sinise. <laughs> 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 Lieutenant Dan, <laughs> you got Lieutenant legs. Dan ain't got no legs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, it's been a long time. It's been All as right. long, nearly as long since that you movie know, came out. I'll say as this the about Gary problem. Sinise. So Gary Sinise is the is the headliner of some shit band, uh, Lieutenant uh, Dan it, band. Is it? Oh really? yeah, it is. Yeah. Dan There's band. a band it's, called yeah. the Lieutenant Dan band. Right. Yeah, and, and, and Gary Sinise uh, is the is the, the headliner. Band. He's yeah. the singer. Yeah. But yeah. I will say and this. Everything he does, I might add, is uh, is I don't know if it's for wounded warriors, but it's it's for veterans. Okay. All right, so, so well, yeah, because he got then. CSI Miami money. What well, I'm going to say right now is, that, but- <laughs> what I'm going to say right now is, I'm better than Gary Sinise at hmm. at everything, just at life. Really? In wow. You think? Yeah. I'm going to say his uh, favorite well, Gary Sinise so, movie. Probably oh, Forrest Gump. Forrest, Forrest Gump. Gump has got to be it. I don't know. You got Ransom of Mice and Men. Oh, Man. yeah. Right. Ransom is pretty. But I'll say this. Right. Uh, Forrest Gump is so, his, yeah, his probably pinnacle. So, so right. fuck him. And uh, <laughs> got a lot, I, let me, got a lot let me, uh, let me, uh, let me win the game a little bit. Yeah, hmm. maybe you want maybe to. I, maybe want I to give twenty five percent of the money, and you want I'll, us to I'll give CGI it to... your legs off and. Do... <laughs> no, I just yeah. don't think that Gary Sinise should be. Well, CGI is painless. We could just lop them fuckers off, and we put you in a wheelchair. And yeah, now, I, I now you're think, legless. I don't Joe. think CGI needs to, or I don't think Gary Sinise needs to have this fucking shit band cover band. And, well, how, what's uh, he hurting? What's he hurting? Remember, just, whose fucking side are you on? We're man. trying to make everybody happy, <laughs> Bill Murray oh, style. Yeah. Come on now. You know right. what? I, you're absolutely right. I actually, just and, trying, I, and you know what? I actually I watched CSI Miami, not Miami, New York, a lot. I don't even know Everybody what show he was on. Things. He was on Gary. He was, he was on, on New and York then one? he was on uh, Criminal Minds Beyond Borders, and he was nah, very good in that I've too. Never even Let me heard ask that you show. this, Joe. All right, next. Want to feel old? Yes, he does. It's been 80 years since the movie Gone with the Wind was released. Yeah. Never seen it. Which was 80 years from 1859 before the Civil War even happened. Jeez. It's been longer since so, that movie came out, since it came out after the Civil War. So, uh, have, have, hold on, hold on. Have you seen Gone with the Wind? No. Have you have you seen Gone with One, the Wind? My mother and my sister used to watch it a lot. Yeah, I was I, kind of forced I've, I've to never watch it seen with my mother and Gone with the Wind all the way through. Yeah. Now, it's the not, same year that Gone good. with the not Gone with the Wind uh, <laughs> it doesn't hold up. <laughs> no. The same year that uh, what's the one the Munchkins? In the house? Uh, the Wizard of Oz. Yeah. That came out the same year my dad was born. No shit. Huh. All right. That 30, the first Technicolor thirty nine. Yeah. So how many uh, have you seen The Wizard of Oz all the way through? Oh Dude, yeah, come definitely. On right. yes. So uh, what? So right. the Ga- what's what's the better movie? Gone with the Wind or The oh, Wizard of Oz? Wizard of In Oz, my eyes, far. I would say Wizard right. of Oz. But I think Hollywood would tell us Gone that with Gone the with the Wind, the wind. Sure. right? The, yeah, right. But The Wizard of Oz is one that well, right. probably because it got playtime on on television well, in the eighties and seventies and witches and stuff. Gone with the Wind is like a classic romance, you know. You know what? I bet if they were to if they were to if they were to push out uh, Wizard of Oz again today, that there someone have a problem with it. Be like, oh, now they're 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 picking on these little people. It's like, well, no, you know, it's just why are those monkeys fucking with that scarecrow? We got more. We got one more. more. We got one more. Give it to us. Anyone alive today? Yes. Who was born the year Nirvana? Nevermind came out. Yeah. Outlived Kurt Cobain. 
No you are shit. older than Kurt Cobain. You know what? There's like 25 what? year old kids that have never lived their life without the Simpsons. Yeah, you're right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what year did Kurt Cobain die? It was 94. 94. Okay. April of 94. Yep. Interesting. April of 94. I remember what happened. But here, rub some Vicks on your chest, get some rest. So, if Kurt Cobain. If Kurt Cobain hadn't died, right, would we Foo have fighters? appreciated we have Dave fighters. Grohl as much as we do? Nope. Right. He would nope. Dave Grohl would have never been able to And who was and honestly, who was more talented? I think possibly Dave Grohl. I think, uh, I think Dave Grohl Dave Grohl arguably is the last true rock star. I yeah. agree. I agree. I do. I think yeah. I mean he I I feel I feel that Dave Grohl is the pinnacle of that that cherished rock star, that, that, that grunge that, rock. Well, not even so much not that, even grunge, but, right. but hair rock, grunge rock, all, all of it, all yeah. of it, all of it, yeah. all the way back to Zeppelin, all the way back to Jimmy. Yeah, he's embraced, and he is just. I, I, he encompasses all yeah. that is rock star. So, so and he truly really is. Do you think so? Foo Fighters has been around like 20, 25 years, twenty three yeah, years, yeah. something like that. Do yeah. you think that Nirvana would still be around as a totally, big hit totally. band making hits? O- only because you take someone like Dave Grohl and you have Kurt Cobain. Right. Kurt Cobain, don't don't dismiss Kurt so, Cobain as, oh, as, he was, as who he was. He was a genius, I think. But if but if he if he had for what died, they were doing, if if Cobain hadn't died, I think there. I don't know the Gro- the Foo Fighters may not have existed, but right. Dave Grohl and Cobain. Who's the other fucking guy? They Chris Novoselic. So they would have gone off and they still would have done their own solo things. Yeah. And Grohl would have gone out and sown think, his royal yeah, oats. But I think I think but it I don't think we would have the Foo Fighters. No. I don't think we would have we wouldn't know Dave Grohl like right. we do today. I think it would have been modern day Beatles. You think? I think hmm. you would have gotten that. I think you would have gotten that this the 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 disenchantment that hmm. do you think that the Cobain could have kept it going? I mean, he had. I mean, it's yeah, hard, hell no, yeah. Well, it's the, hard to go that long is, for is anybody. The, the right. thing, well, much less a heroin are addict. Are you kidding me, Steven Tyler? Well, but that's not. I'm Makes saying that's not common. forty years. No. Yeah, it's hard well, to do. Uh, though. I agree. Let, let's just say that the, without the drugs, right? right let's just right. say he's living, and it's and it's and it's his music. It's it's. Yeah. His, even if he was just his own, like this is what I want to do. I don't care if it sells records or not. Which Cobain right. was was heartedly about that. He didn't care right. if he sold records. Sure, mm-hmm. he was just making his own music. Let's just say it was that minus the drugs and everything. Yeah, Kurt Cobain would have been. He would still be relevant today. Yeah, I mean, he would yeah. be to the point. He would never do it, but he would be. The, the type of person that you would want on like American Idol as a judge. There are a lot of people <laughs> out there. Can you imagine Kurt Cobain as a I, judge I, on American are, Idol? But that's what I'm saying. He yeah. would be to that. There are a lot of people out there, I think, that would say that if Kurt Cobain had not died, Nirvana would not be as big of a band as it is today. That's not That's not true. Well, there's a lot mm-hmm. of people out there that would say that. Yeah. And, uh, and because Smells Like T. Smirrit was fucking huge. It was huge. Never yeah. mind. Right. It was an unbelievable album. But it in was. The, in the but sense that a lot of Pearl those Jam, big bands fade. Uh, yeah. Ten. The great album. Where is Eddie Vedder? What, what's Eddie Vedder doing right oh, now? Oh, they're still oh, making fuck, music. Eddie Vedder still making But is he a legend? I yes. he is to me. But I would say Eddie Vedder is a legend. He's not I, Kurt I mean, Cobain. He's, but, but I would so say I, think, I, I would also my, my say point, Chris Cornell is my point is is that is the most humanist. Yeah. That Kurt Cobain's death is the best thing that ever happened to Nirvana record sales. No. It's honestly, I would say it's impossible to know because they might have they might have come out with one more album that tanked and nobody cared anymore, or they might have been like the Foo Fighters and been the biggest rock band of our generation. Yeah, I don't see that. I don't see that with what we're supposed to be talking about. No, I don't even know how it came up. (laughs) Oh, it was our listener uh, recommendation question. Way to go, Champagne. We're all old. Yeah. Yeah, we're old. What did we? Okay, we're hey, going to talk about. Blow the dust off my nuts and we'll move <laughs> along. So, uh, well, are we, we going to do that right now? Yeah. It's time no, right now. Fuck me. For a Sweet 16. Yes, we, you know, we like the Sweet 16. We don't give a shit if you guys like them or not, but we, we enjoy the hell out of them. We, we care. We like 
we, if you like it. We, we, we don't do. give we a do. fuck. We do kind of care. <laughs> we uh, only do this for the listeners. So, but this this one's kind of we fun. don't even like we, each we've other. we've always done movies. We've done <laughs> actors. We've done we've done uh, comedian comedians. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've we've done a lot of things. Uh, this one is kind of fun. Yeah. Is uh, we're doing fast food items. I'm, yeah. big, so, I'm a big fan of fast food. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, look at me. Fast food, yeah, right? I'm a fucking tub of shit. Uh, I have family members who don't. They ridicule us for eating fast food. I, Fuck I think, them. I think I probably know who that is. I and, think and, you know, too. Yeah, and you know what? Uh, they should they should go try a Jack in the Box taco that's right. and let us know how they feel about Two that. Two for you know? a dollar. Yeah. All so, right. but what before we, we get into the Sweet yeah. 16, we do have 16 items that we have identified mm-hmm. as... Uh, our our favorites. Purposely. We do yeah. have a very long they are, list. They are titty-rific. A long list of honorable mentions. I think we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And, and these are also titty-rific. We have 12. We have nearly as many <laughs> yeah. honorable mentions as we, we do. We do have a lot. I'm going to run through them real quick. Yeah. What do we uh, got? We got a McChicken with cheese. Right. That's a solid, solid sandwich. Yeah, solid right? sandwich. Uh, no. Uh, Cheese from home, though. Right. No, right. Yeah. Joe, home. Joe likes to go he home and get his pay cheese. For the cheese. He doesn't want to pay there. 25 cents for a slice of cheese. Plus, he That's gets right. two slices at home. Right. Is right. it Kraft? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Kraft, Kraft American? Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. You can you can substitute great value if you want. No. Yeah, oh, great, no, great, great value, value is good. That's good. Really? Yeah. And Schnooks, yeah. Schnooks uh, bullshit cheese? Yeah. Really? Gold, no, baby. I'm all about Kraft. I don't, I don't, cheese. I don't, you know, it's like, Schnooks is like government cheese, man. No, nah, hey. shit. <laughs> then you ain't never ate some government cheese. <laughs> when you got to slice that off a fucking bread. All right, next. Yeah, I we got a, 12 of these to go through. You did have a moat. Yeah. You didn't eat government cheese. Gone. <laughs> so, number two on the honorable mention list is the Burger King, the elongated chicken right. sandwich. The chicken that's tender a, crisp that's or whatever. Which, is, which is a good sandwich, too. It is good. I yeah. No one ever gets cheese on that, though. I do. do you? I, I do. order it oh, with yeah. cheese. It's yeah. a lot of mayonnaise right. on it, too. Yeah. Yeah. So, a bit of the third one on the list, which I think should be much higher on all... It should it'd be in the Sweet 16, is the McRib. Yeah. It, it yeah. didn't make the cut because it's a limited time only right. thing, and it's, you know, whatever. whatever. The McRib is... I mean, people go fucking nuts over the McRib. Right. But, and yeah. you know, My son has a McRib t-shirt. It's really? Terrible. Yes. I want a McRib T-shirt. Yep. If if anybody's listening and wants to send me a McRib T-shirt, <laughs> if he gets a fucking McRib T-shirt before I get Fireball, I swear to God, the whole thing's over, fellas. It's all over. <laughs> Number four on the list is also one of my favorites. I don't know if I put it on, but the Mexican pizza from Taco Bell. That's Taco Bell. It's, it's solid gold. I mean, it's a yeah. little expensive now. It seems like it used to be cheaper when mm. we were younger. I used to be able to go to Taco Bell, and if I spent four dollars at Taco Bell, I was eating like a king. Right now, I go order the same shit, and it's like eleven dollars. Yeah, and it's like, well, yeah. I know I'm a fat ass. You don't need to remind <laughs> me by hitting my wallet. Uh, <laughs> we did we did a half an episode on the Cholito. Uh, Joe has an aff- right. affection towards the. Uh, I did. I did. I, it's not well. Yeah, it's, and for anyone who doesn't remember, that's the same as a chili cheese burrito, right? Right, right. Yes, yeah, and then yeah, I ate yeah. six of them oh, after so drinking good. a half gallon of chocolate, <laughs> chocolate, chocolate milk and cherry oh, sour wow. balls. Cherry sour balls, and then <laughs> puked in the grass around the drive through. <laughs> so that Taco Bell has never grown grass in 30 years. <laughs> Like oh well, I would love to have oh geez, what's he what he have what he have? Oh my god! Just let me get through. Let me get through. <laughs> so number uh, I don't know what six or whatever on the honorable mention list: Doritos Locos Tacos. Solid oh play. yeah, yeah that's a good I one. Will fucking, but, I mean, did, did they have a cool one. ranch they one? Do, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, does you anybody know, ever get the cool ranch one? No. Yeah, oh, only the... NASCAR fans. <laughs> <laughs> and they get it with their Baja Mountain Dew. Yeah, Baja with Blast. their Mountain Dew. Blast. With their Mount, yeah, with their Mountain Dew. Yeah. Uh, I, hell yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get... We need 700 the fucks. Cool Baja Ranch tacos. Doritos Lagos. Yeah. Uh, Arby's Beef and Cheddar. Classic Beef and Cheddar. It's a, yeah. it's a yes. solid sandwich. It is. Yeah. And we'll yeah. explain could, why it didn't make our list Well, they could later. have a little bit more beef on it. something you know? else passed oh, it up. yeah. Yeah, uh, but you can get it in like three different sizes, right? Now you, yeah, you can. can now. Okay. Yeah. So uh, just because we're not all about the Midwest and the flyover states, we have uh, the In-N-Out Burger Animal yeah. Style on oh. there. Now these two gentlemen have not. No, I've never partaken. Or, you guys, I want to. Style? I've I've said on on numerous episodes that I would love to have. I love In-N-Out. I don't I get out to California nearly as often yeah, well, as I used to. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm going again in mm-hmm. uh, in a few weeks, and uh, I will in hopefully and 
be able to have another In-N-Out burger. Animal style, it's onions, it's uh, it's it's Thousand Island dressing, it's cheese. Mm. It's it's just it's a fucking mess, is what yeah. it is. And you get the fries, animal style too, and it's the same thing. It's cheese and the dressing and Damn, it's onions. And sounds it's, good. God, oh you're making my, God. my dick hard. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I got pictures on my phone. I'll show you later. It's wow. it's like it's like soft core porn. Uh, so God, God, God. Ne- <laughs> next on the list, steak and shake. We so Jared and I have a disagreement yeah. here. Uh, so, steak and shake in general. Steak and shake, <clears throat> chili three shit. way is where I go. I say chili max supreme. Yeah, well that's too much shit. It's not too much <laughs> shit. The only shit on it is cheese and onions. And the also, only thing I hate out Jared, of Jared place. doesn't like beans. I don't like beans. It I don't. Comes down I, to I the don't beans. like them little pixie fucking fries. Yeah, I, I oh, want to eat them skinny fries. Fucking steak and shake fries. Yeah, I just fucking hate the oh, fries. Man, you get them with I a fork, you just jam no. them. Yep. Right. No. And you put fucking some drench them in no. with cheese no. or ketchup. You just drizzle yeah. ketchup nope. over them. Yeah, no, nope. that's the only fry that I will. I will just go crazy with the ketchup all over them. Even with the fork, you have to. They're the best. Yeah, no, they're good. Uh, so what else is on? We're is uh, this half a, an hour in. We haven't started. Holy our 16 shit! Yet. Uh, slinger. So yeah, for those people, yeah. any slinger at any St. Louis diner. Yeah, but it's people that aren't no, in St. Louis. A horseshoe. A yeah. slinger yeah. is uh, is a cheeseburger patty, hash browns, and eggs. Your style, you know, scrambled and could chili, be, chili, and then covered in chili and cheese and onions. And Everything it's, it's awesome. Hot uh, sauce. Yeah, it absorbs point. all alcohol. Yeah. That's good stuff. Uh, Chick fil A spicy chicken sandwich comes from right. our, our fans in the other here room. Recommended yeah. the Chick fil A. And then, oh my God. What are you talking And then Jared's son comes up. That's a with, homophobic sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, yeah, yeah. Chick fil A makes some good shit. And some of the best customer service you'll ever find. Definitely. I will, I will definitely say that. I agree with you on that. Uh, what did my son recommend? They know my name. The, your son came up with the uh, BLT from Jimmy oh, John's. Oh, yeah. Jimmy John's. So, That's an obscure reference it is but i want to try it yeah i'm, I'm yeah. down so anyway we're getting right. into the sweet 16 those are just the honorable mentions you should just and wait we are a half an hour in what we got on our list so can you wait to see round one fucking meats coming in your now mouth. we did the same old uh random number generator so these are not ordered in any kind of no that was fucked last up, actually but uh google sucks this isn't based on our preconceived notions this is just random 16 so what do we got What's our first so matchup? Dr- first so, matchup. So drawn so well. <laughs> Rallies, Baconzilla. Oh, man. Up against the 10 piece chicken Ooh. nugget from McDonald's. Old Lion versus New Lion. <laughs> 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 yeah! Ha! All right! Now, I'm pretty sure Joe said he's never had a Baconzilla. I, I don't, I don't, I don't think I have either. It's, but I have had the shit. It chicken sounds nugget. amazing. It's from Rallies. Describe the bacon zilla so it's it's two hamburger patties i'm not sure if they're quarter pound so but i think it's a it's a hefty Probably patty half pound once we're done couple slices of cheese uh i, I believe there's a layer of mayo in there it's probably some bacon there's a shit ton of bacon and it's I'm not going, just i'm going bacon zilla it's not that thin that's me f- bacon that you can see through it's yeah. the thick cut wavy mm-hmm. crispy bacon so i'm right. bacon zilla all right oh it's so good so that's he's bacon zilla I'm absolutely bacon zilla it doesn't matter i would i don't know i really want to try the bacon zilla yeah. but i'd have gone with the 10 piece chicken wing because it's a everybody knows it loves it it's, a chicken it's, chicken what, I, it's what i get when yeah. i make my dogs happy <laughs> So I get the ten piece bacon when, zilla. When, try it. When I want zilla, to, when bacon I zilla lose on. So when I want to be left alone, I'll get a ten piece. When I throw that to the dogs, eating. <laughs> so next matchup, we have uh, Jack in the Box versus Jack in the Box. Jack Ooh, would not be happy with this, but we have the ultimate cheeseburger. Okay, Titties. which is can you describe that? That's oh fucking. It's two, that's two two patties, uh, quarter pound patties, nice. mayo. Bacon. It's like two slices of no. You get the it's ultimate like cheeseburger with four. bacon. It's like four. Oh yeah, ultimate cheeseburger. You get yeah. a bunch of cheese. You get like four right. slices right. of slices cheese. Of two cheese. different types nice. of cheese. Yeah. Okay. And then you get, it comes with mayonnaise. I think it comes with mustard and ketchup yeah. too. I usually ask for without the mustard and ketchup, but uh, mm. it it's about with, the yeah. cheese and the yeah. meat yeah. and the sure. mayonnaise, and it's god Sounds damn, good. it's yeah, amazing. It is, I bet I, I bet pretty, I had it. I just but don't recall that, it. That is going up against the Jack in the Box curly fry. Ooh. Oh fuck! I, uh, ultimate Man. cheeseburger. Yeah, I'm said. ultimate cheeseburger as well. Yeah, I mean, I love curly fries. In fact, I think I put them on this list. But ultimate cheeseburger so, has to right. win out. I, I I think I agree. I, I I'm I'm with you. I want to remind you. Yeah, we made a rule last time okay. we did Sweet Sixteen. 
that every member of the oh, right. has one call over the rule. staff here yeah. one has round. one yep. whammy. Whammy. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm saving mine. You're gonna save your whammy. Yep. Yeah, I am too. All right, so we're ultimate going with, cheese. So right. The, the the whammy is uh, that's a that's a three vote, so it cancels everybody mm-hmm. out. Yeah. So you get basically so if you want to bark one through. Yeah. You, right. you get one shot where you can <clears throat> your vote counts as three votes, and yep. you can overrule your 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 teammates. It's a good twist. And that's there. Right. It's there, and you guys can yell out if you'd like, but we won't hear you. Yeah. <laughs> Call Send in us now. an email. It's just, just, <laughs> it, it won't matter because yeah. by the time you hear send this, send us a message on know. Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter at Lothis Podcast. Hashtag whammy. <laughs> oh, whammy. You're going to have to bring I'm that have down. I'm going to uh, compress that volume <laughs> a little bit. Then, uh, <laughs> Fuck it. We got a little excited. Sorry. All right. Next, next uh, round, we have uh, this is an interesting one Original Recipe KFC hmm. up against the McDonald's Double Cheeseburger. Plain. Okay. McDonald's dub, double cheeseburger plain. Thank you. So, what? Explain to me what? What yeah, do you mean by that? What's the appeal there? Uh, but the when you appeal. say plain, I mean well, meaning no toppings. No, nope, no, no top, ketchup. No it's just cheese, no meat, onions. bun. Done. Right. Yep. That's it. Delicious. So try it. A regular McDonald's Comes double cheeseburger has mustard and ketchup and and pickles them, and, and them onions. Yeah. Onions. Okay. Yep. But you just like it plain. Right. I'm with Joe on that one. Okay. But so I'm. Not, I'm I'm certainly voting yeah, that way, that's but that's fine. how I would so, order it if I was ordered. That's it. uh my vote is 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 the McDonald's double cheeseburger yeah. plain. Okay. Go ahead, Ryan. I gotta go with KFC original recipe. It's it's, it's solid gold. It's and plus Classic. it's it's really it's the only representation for fried chicken on this entire thing. Right. I think yeah. we well, got some well, chicken got sandwiches. And, but yeah. So where are you yeah. at? But I, I I love fried chicken and KFC is yeah. Top I think notch. uh I I love the KFC, I'm I'm going that way only because I feel like we got a lot of double cheeseburgers on our list, and that's, that's a, the most I think that's plain a fine idea. You know what? And I agree. And now I'm gonna whammy! whammy! Oh my god! Jesus Christ! He's using his whammy. So KFC gets knocked out wow. by a Joe so whammy. Plain old double Fuck cheeseburger. Fuck your chicken, you fucking fact. Wow. Mc, a McDank's double cheese, yeah. and you can step on my nuts later, but <laughs> you won't do it with a chicken bone. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna put up here Joe Joe Whammy. Whammy. Okay. <laughs> wow. He used to, that he was used fun. Like Use it early, first <laughs> round. Plain double cheeseburger. First round whammy. First I mean, round I, whammy. I, I, it's good. I, mean, hey, I, I appreciate your passion. It's your prerogative. You know, yep. but here's here's the problem. Uh is that the next round I don't give a fuck. The chicken's <laughs> out. Uh, What's Jack, gonna go against? Jack in the box taco. Up Ooh. against the Sonic double cheeseburger. Oh, we do have wow. a lot of double cheeseburgers do, on this yeah. list. Because <laughs> what They're makes so good. Oh, so hey, so delicious. Good. What, what <laughs> makes one burger better? A double. Yeah. <laughs> but what right. makes a Sonic double so, cheeseburger better than the McDonald's is, double cheeseburger plate? <laughs> is that the next matchup? The, yeah, Jack in the Box taco. Right, now, their, their onions are way better. I feel oh, like right. I feel like we need to point out that generally when you order a Jack in the Box you taco, free taco, it's two for a yeah, dollar. Yeah. You're getting two of those motherfuckers. Yeah, that's right. And uh, I'm going to weigh in here. Jack yeah. in the Box taco is hands down right. one of the best so, fast food items yeah. and I know in gonna, the history I'm of fast food. This, so I'm going to go with the Sonic double cheeseburger. Okay. Oh, Jared, I'm also going to go. No, me. I'm going the two for one tacos. Right. But do you guys dip them in ranch? Oh, fucking right. Fucking right. You know, and I, I wouldn't dip them in toilet water. <laughs> you know, and I didn't until the mid 90s i ate jack in the box tacos for a long time and then a buddy my college buddy of mine i did that in high school because they used to be three for a dollar and then we went wow, after football we went after football practice and we each came with like 10 bucks and we'd order like a hundred yeah, of them yeah, yeah it was wow. ridiculous. and they just kept bringing them out to yeah, us i didn't know the that. fucking lady yeah. would just keep the bringing fryer them out couldn't to us. hold as, right. as much as you ordered so but, she just bring the fucking tray out every, every so I went, so went with my buddy don you know donnie yeah and uh and and i'm we go and we get Jack in the Box tacos, and we go through the drive through and we we ordered a copious amount of Jack in the Box tacos, and he goes, "Hey, get get like five things of ranch dressing." Yeah. I'm like, "Why?" Right. And he goes, "You'll see." 
I'm I'm like, because I was completely, I, yeah. I, a whole new world opened up to me. My friend, uh, my friend Tara recommended world. it to me. She <laughs> said, she told me to order ranch, and it was like oh, game changer. So yeah, it's, yeah, it's a whole new thing. Oh, man. All right, so yeah. all right, is that what we're right, through? Tacos. So uh, we're done with that side of the bracket. We have, uh, yeah, whatever. We'll just move on here. Half hour in. Uh, Whopper with cheese <laughs> up against the double hour. quarter pounder with cheese. Ooh, that's from a tough call. McDonald's. That is a tough one. That's that a is tough. fucking tough one and i'm gonna say let me go first i'm sorry uh now i told you before we started i'm a picky eater and i don't dig all the veggies that come on a whopper Mm -hmm. and i do dig the two quarter pound patties that come on a double quarter pound we're going to fucking mcdonald's i'm I'm just saying (laughs) and uh so i'm absolutely going double quarter pounder with cheese all the way Uh, but a a whopper i agree i agree with you i would go that way Mm. But what McDonald's has done to the oh, double quarter pounder right. with cheese, yeah, they fucked it up. They they've, did. They've ruined the double fucked quarter pounder with cheese. Fucked it up by real cheese. beef. In. Yeah. What, yeah. What, what McDonald's has done to Made the to double order. quarter pounder cheese has ruined it. So I'm going right. to go. I am a Whopper with cheese fan. Go with it. You're breaking the tie. Yeah. Only because, not because of the sandwich idea in itself is not is the double far quarter, superior yeah the double quarter pound of cheese is is, is, is way is better sound. but they ruined it they I, did i, I forgot don't know if about they that. ruined it it's they ru- definitely they ruined different it. they ruined it's it. definitely different it's not as good i don't know that i've had a double nowhere, quarter pounder nowhere near <laughs> with cheese since they've changed the rest but i, I had, have oh, and i had one I had it pre i had one yeah. at kirkwood and it's delicious really it's like ours ruined it really yeah, <laughs> that could be I, I, but I'm, I'm not voting? changing my vote. So I really, I'm not changing you're, my vote. No, he's okay. not. Oh, you're not. Said, yep. All right. So the Whopper with cheese, it, it's a fine sandwich. It's a fine. I, I, I agree with Jared on that. There's too much other shit on there. The fucking tomato, yeah, the lettuce, to pick it the onion. Off. It, 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 it makes for a slippery sandwich. You bite Very. into it, and everything goes go shooting out the fucking other side of it. It's horrible. I got to go with the double quarter pounder with cheese. I can't believe this is this is like the horror movies. And you all already over used again. your whammy, so <laughs> it's like the horror movies all over again. Yeah. All right, I gotta write. All right, all so right, what's uh, next? <laughs> we have the Big Buford. Hmm. What Delicious. is that from? Joe Rally's, put that on there. This is Rally's that's, Big Buford that's a sandwich. Great call. Oh, and man. the Taco Bell bean burrito. Oh. Oh my Come God. On. This is easy. Yeah. Let me go. Let me just no say brainer. it. Yeah. Big Buford. Feel All the a, way. There's no way I wouldn't explain have the breast to me. I have. Now, I will say. Explain to me what a Big Buford is. It's, it's fucking two, awesome, is what it is. It, it, it's two double patties. Yeah. Uh, cheese. Onion, tomato, lettuce, everything on a sesame seed bun. Oh, and then I think Santa comes down and touches it. <laughs> now, I I will say my complaint on the Whopper was all the extra shit. But the Buford has a lot of that shit, but it, it just holds tastes together so well, good. Right? Yeah, it's but so awesome. Santa comes down and touches you know what? it. Right. I mean, the bean burrito is, is my addition to this list. And yeah. A lot of people would expect me to use my whammy here. It's but like the <laughs> most plain uh, <laughs> it's item you can order it's from delicious. Taco Bell. It's, del- it's so yeah. simple. No, it's it's, yeah. it's it's beans. That's a cheese roll it's up. It's cheese. The cheese roll up. It's beans. No, it's got fucking beans in beans. it. God damn it. Fucking There's beans. beans. And it's terrible. Got, I hate beans. Beans go a long way. And it's got some beans sauce suck. and it's some red sauce. And it's fucking delicious. Anyway, Do you know what else? It's so simple I and so and so delectable. Food. My bride made a stew tonight. Really. And and that doesn't sound delectable, but stew, stew, she's like got beef like stew, chunks of fucking meat. Wow. Oh my god! All right, that's so at I'm, the house tonight. Nice. Plus, I have like six. That's what you have to look forward to. Oh, I've got food nice. at the house for days. But uh, apparently, we're going to McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> they might be closed. They know. might be. Uh, I think they're twenty four hours, hours on the weekend. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. But right. I'm gonna go with the big beaver right. because you Let's guys. Go. I was trying to, you know, say that I, as much as I love the bean burrito, big beaver yeah. sounds delicious. It is delicious. Oh, it's I, fucking. I, I trust us. Early. Yeah. I want to try it. <laughs> trust the dick. We need a rallies in town. And yeah. uh, and I don't want to use my whammy yet. Not yet. Uh, Not on fair. a bean burrito. So next up we have the McDouble. Hmm. Mm. Ooh, this is a tough call. I think these are both my additions. Up against a White Castle cheeseburger. Hmm. Wow. I'm going first. White Castle. Now, do you know the difference between a McDouble and a double cheeseburger? I, I do. What is it? A double cheeseburger has more cheese, more I think. More cheese. That's the only difference, and, I believe. And they piss all them fucking onions and everything all over everything. What? The McDouble doesn't have that? 
I don't know. Yeah, the McDouble has all them onions and but oh, the McDouble's like a dollar. Right. I, yeah. hey, do you think I'm worried about money <laughs> when I'm eating? Well, I'm a cheap bastard. I don't know. I, right. I am not. Nice to meet you. I'm Ryan. I'm a cheap motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God, I would pay $12 for what I eat. But, I don't, uh, it doesn't, doesn't matter how much a McDouble costs. I got to go with the White Castle cheeseburger. One of my few White passions Castle. in life like is that, a White Castle cheeseburger. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's solid that gold. That is delicious. It, it, only in certain times, but every time I have one, it's because I wanted so it. So good. Yeah. Because I wanted it. And yep. we wonder why our colons are fucked up. So this oh, is oh, this well, is, I can't see my dick. <laughs> this is uh, interesting. We again, we did this random, right? Random number generator, yeah. and how this came up is beyond me. It's fun, isn't it? The final matchup of the first round is McDonald's French fries against Arby's Big Montana. Oh, Big Montana. Hell yeah, that's why the classic uh, a vagina with a bun didn't make it. Nice. I'm going Big right. Montana. Big Wait, Montana. What's this going up against? So McDonald's French oh, fries. Oh, shit, Joe. I don't know, man. Mm. McDonald's French fries. French fr- McDonald's fries are like crack. Against they Arby's are. Big Montana. I'm going Big Montana. You go, Ryan. That's a big old fuck. I've I'm never Jane. had a big... Explain to me a Big Montana. We had the picture of it. It's a, just a shit it's ton shit, of yeah, roast beef. It's, just, it's a roast beef sandwich that's fucking... Like four pounds of roast beef on it, a bun. It's like... This is a roast beef sandwich, and then this is what would happen if this one puked on this one, <laughs> and then if like six of his friends showed up and like, yeah, oh, I like that. Yeah, <laughs> it's a big Montana. Does it have cheese? Man, it you can get it with cheese, but it has a sauce. They put a sauce on it. I don't think it's a horsey sauce. It's, not, it's like it's Montana not like sauce. Arby's sauce. Oh shit! Ooh, it's man. got like Hannah Montana sauce. It's got yeah. <laughs> and it, I honestly think it's poon from <laughs> Hannah. Montana, <laughs> and it, and they only extract it from her when she poor, has the wig on. Poor Miley. I mean, I mean that, that, she has been worked hard. Miley, <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about. Oh, yeah. This is only I'm coming. Sorry. This Hannah. is only coming yeah. from Hannah <laughs> yeah. when she has the wig on. <laughs> right. Uh, as as delectable so, as that sound yeah, with with uh, feel, Hannah Montana's. I feel you fuckers are going yeah. with the fries. I feel bad because I've never had. You should it. feel bad. It sounds like it could be good. It doesn't sound like it's available anymore either. But it's not. I also love McDonald's French fries. They are. Oh, they're, they're fucking awesome. Oh my god! I right here. just threw my ring in the floor. He. Who needs a wedding ring? <laughs> when there's three dudes in a off. small yeah. room together. So exactly. I'm going McDonald's French fries. Yeah, me too. Right. Sorry, Joe. I'm sorry, buddy. That's fine. I have to pee. I have to pee. All right, All right we're, we're gonna, gonna uh, we're gonna recap. Hurry up! <laughs> <laughs> so we we made it through the first round, right? So who what were the winners of round one? So we have in the elite eight of uh, <laughs> Joe's out there checking up on Fortnite. Yeah, he's out there, you know, playing to the public. So we have uh, Baconzilla. All right, that's the uh, uh, ultimate cheeseburger mm. from Jack in the Box. That's a that's a tough matchup. It is. McDonald's double, <laughs> excuse me, cheeseburger plain, <laughs> Jack in the Box taco, the double quarter pounder with cheese from McDonald's, the Big Buford. Is that Rallies? Yes. And uh, we have the White Castle cheeseburger, mm. which is that's a that's a so good. It's a Cinderella story. I feel. <laughs> and uh, and then the McDonald's French fry. Hmm. Which there's a lot wow. going on here. I mean, yeah. I, I really think we are getting to the bottom of some real major issues here. I was gonna say <laughs> there's like uh, obesity, depression, uh, you know, self worth, all the, that stuff wrapped. Whatever in makes you feel good. We're and, and you know what? All of these. I, 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 Big Buford. I think I've had that, but it's been a long yeah. time. It's been around That's, a long time. And the time. Baconzilla. I don't think I've ever had that. Go out this Everything weekend else. and get a bacon zilla. Everything else is high on my list. Mm-hmm. I mean, if I could have all of these, we should we should do that. We should drop my pencil again. We should do an episode where we bring oh all these foods in. Yeah, it's hard to of, do where it's fresh and good. Well, you know, right, but yeah. that sounds amazing. We should do the uh, eating challenge. We we did right? the uh, that, that took us a while though. Oh my god, that was an endeavor. So. Yeah. We uh we did a McDonald's cheeseburger, so just the regular. It was single. McDoubles. Was no, it McDoubles? It was McDoubles. Hmm. Okay. Because they were on sale, they were a dollar a piece. Be. Yep. And it was cheaper for us to do the McDoubles. 
Right. I think. So, I don't know. I feel like it was cheeseburgers, but maybe it was McDoubles. Either way, it was a McDonald's There's video cheeseburger of, of some kind yeah. that we we drove through, and everybody ordered however many they thought they could do. Did we all right. order 10 or something? Well, I think... I because my my son my oldest was yeah. was gonna in, be in the challenge and so I think we ordered like twenty plus yeah. like twenty two I forget but yeah McDoubles. everybody ordered a bunch and we all brought it back to my house yep. and there was at least ten of us sitting around the table yeah. maybe eight yeah. eight well, or all ten all the guy the, the gals right. didn't didn't partake but right. it was your boy my boy you and I my nephew your nephew your brother in law yeah was there. A, I don't, I don't uh, think that my, my my younger boys didn't yeah. really participate. They right. tried. But Maybe that was it. Basically, they fucked up the rotation because they <laughs> ate burgers that yeah. could have been tiebreakers. Because what it boiled down to is that, uh, well, Jared lost. So you were still in the air. Jared lost. <laughs> and, Joe's uh, back. And they came down to, I think, me and my son. Yeah. And yeah. we were tied at 17, I believe. No, He's a no, 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 no. Ryan is now uh, fabricating stories. No, I think it was like 16 no, or 17. it was like 7. No. No, it no, was not 17. No, you're wrong. Dude, I, you're wrong. I won a White Castle eating contest at 16. There's no way you ate 17 McDonald's <sighs> cheeseburgers right. that are like twice you as big. You know what? I love the fifth grade, too. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm just going to text the boy it real quick. It was like eight, seven I'm not or gonna, eight. I'm not going to lay any groundwork you ever, here. You guys ever want to do that with me? We, we yeah. should see what I could do. Let's do some White Castle cheeseburgers. It'll be awesome. I will fucking pound a crepe case. Or tacos. Uh, what tacos? We have a photo, tacos? Ryan. We, we got pictures. Yeah. Well, we're like I won that competition, too. We're like I can't remember how many I did, but I won a jack-in-the-box taco eating contest mm. and a White Castle cheeseburger eating contest. Yeah, you'd probably contest. win that hands down because I can't eat You're that You're not a swell. fan. Yeah. Uh, so we need to do a bacon zilla eating contest. Jeez. We should. Do <laughs> That's that. an expensive proposition. <laughs> I'm, so I'll the, pay the text the I'm thing. sending him is, is how many cheeseburgers did you eat during the challenge at Jared's house? I'm going to text my wife and say, send me the photo of the uh, of the official count. The I want to say it was in the teens. It was in no, the high teens. No, you're you're dreaming. I I would love to think that too, but. I'm pretty sure it was. Anyway, moving on. Yeah. So we're going to wait for responses. Jared's going to send a message to his uh, his wife. We're going to move on to the Elite Eight. We have the Baconzilla. So you guys didn't do really anything while I went and pissed. Well, we no. couldn't. We, we couldn't. Recapped. We we need your vote. Oh. Yeah, you're kind of necessary to this equation. And that, that's fucking crazy. Go on. Well, I mean, if, if it's just the two of us, everything's going to be a tie. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want this. I want this. Unless you guys... Yeah, so unless we agree on things. Yeah. Well, if, if it was White Castle cheeseburgers, we'd, right. we'd be down. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Baconzilla up against the ultimate cheeseburger from Jack in the Box. Jesus, age Christ. That a is a solid, fucking, that's solid a fight. matchup. That's a yeah. fight. It is. I I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with ultimate cheeseburger. Done. Me, me too. Oh. Whammy time. Oh, shit. Baconzilla. Moving oh, on. Really? No, we've never even had the Baconzilla. It's so good. Seems unfair. It's so good that once you have it, you'll be like, fuck the ultimate cheeseburger. So, yeah. I I feel that way. So he's whammy and on. I am right, fair enough. It. Oh, J- 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 J-Rod's already pissed away his whammy. whammy time. I got a whammy left. Dun, Fuckers. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Dun, 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 he does. Dun, dun. McDonald's double cheeseburger plane up against the Jack in the Box taco. You've already used your whammo to, whammy to bring uh, whammo, whammy. I, I know, yeah. So you know where I'm at. Yeah, double so you're all about the double cheeseburger plane. And I, honestly, I, 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 I want one. Right now. Order it next time you're there. I want one now. Well, yeah. But I got to go with Jack in the Box Taco. That's fine. I get it. Yeah, me too. Um, yep. Whammo! <laughs> so get you it. don't like Jack in the Box Taco? Nah. No? All right. Nah. That's a shame. I, deep fried lettuce, I'm not into. They don't fry the lettuce. They add that yeah, after. I, that's why I hear. They do. I mean, it gets hot in that fucking hot, you know. Right. And yeah. they sit under the lamp and all that. Put so. underneath the Makes envelope. it all great, though. Makes it all come out in one shot. Um, Does it make it feel? My bride loves She likes them. Yeah. She'll, she eats them. She loves yeah. them. She likes a monster taco. See, that's a waste, in my opinion, because you're not really getting that much. Totally agree. Did you know? That's what I told her. Did you know that? What is it? Uh, a 16 inch pizza 
is the same, is the same of as two is... 12 inch pizzas. Well, I... Yeah, if you do the area of a circle, what is it pi r okay, squared? Okay, sure, sure. Say that again, pi r sorry. squared. What? The, a 16 inch pizza, yeah. maybe it's, I think it's 16 okay. inch, is the same amount of pizza okay. as two 12 inch pizzas. Hmm. Do the math. Pi r squared. Circle, pi r squared, right? Anyway, I've done it. I think when, it's 16 inch. When, I, when I'm ordering pizza, I'm not merely doing geometry. But if you're looking for more pizza and you're cheap, God damn, if I ever got that goddamn cheap, man, <laughs> someone needs to step yeah. on my nuts. Yeah. yeah, that sounds right. Even, it's pretty close. I ain't trying to be that. I'm not that All right. cheap. Next, uh, next up, we have the uh, double quarter pounder with cheese up against the big Buford. Hmm. Ooh, man. Ooh, that's a damn fine. I feel it like is. you guys are losing, losing your muster here. <laughs> uh, it's the uh, fireball I'm, kicking I'm, in. Yeah, I'm going to go. Uh, Everybody's getting tired. I'm going to go. Uh, not McDonald's on that. Not one. McDonald's. Big Buford. That's uh, a yeah. Raleigh's Big Buford, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Jared, where 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 do you lie? I think I'm going to go Big Buford. Well, it doesn't matter what I say, but I'm, <laughs> I, it's been a long time since I had a Big yeah. Buford. But, but I'm sure it's delicious. I, to me, the double quarter pounder with cheese is an icon. That's a, yeah, that's they a big ruined it. But it, They ruined it. They, they fucked they it up. They did. Right. You're right. All right. Next up, we have the White Castle Cheeseburger. <sighs> this is a really tough match. This is our fucking top seed here. Yeah. White Castle Cheeseburger. Against the McDonald's French fry. Oh. Well, I already know. Should I go first? Knock yourself out. Yeah. White Castle cheeseburger. What about I, you, Ryan? I agree with Joe. <sighs> fries are always, fries are fries like are always crack, an accent. That cheeseburger, always White in, Castle cheeseburger is amazing. Just an accent. They're just... They're, they're, yeah, they're it's, good. It's, they're, they're, they're awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah they're, 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 but I don't think they're staying alone. They're not staying alone. No, they, no, you can't just go in and could. order French fries I think and you be could. like, if you weren't gonna, if you weren't yeah. hungry enough to do a full meal, I w- I've eaten just then, fries. You know what? Before. Drive home and don't eat. You fucking <laughs> hell! No, you gotta have your protein. But you, you gotta order. Carbs. You gotta order no. like six or eight White Castle no. cheeseburgers. So it's not like that stands on its own as a meal. Yeah, you can. True. Yeah, but you can't just eat one White Castle. That being no, said, I, I always order six or eight White Castle cheeseburgers, yeah. if not ten. If By the way, I'd if, whoop your ass what? and eat White Castle Come cheeseburgers. Come on. It's I, on. I would destroy it's you. It's on. Let's do I this. I can eat Are you a fucking ridiculous talking? Amount. Really? Are you serious? I would this make is both of happen. you feel bad about How many even White having ca- balls. This is going to happen. Let's throw out a number. How many White Castle cheeseburgers do you think you could eat? I'll start with Jared. Well, I'll say the most I you, have eaten. Yeah, you did a challenge. Yeah, but I also ran out. This is all I bought was 16. I okay. Pro- I maybe could have eaten a couple more, and we had to do it in a half an hour. So, so okay. Eight, oh, so you had a time limit. We did. Okay. So, but 18. Maybe it was 45 minutes or something. All right. Yeah. So, you're saying 18 about. I mean, I have to say 16 because that's what I've done. All but right. I but bet I could, could do more. Probably. A couple more. Yeah. 20 Joe, would be pushed. What say you? I think I could crush a case. That's 30, like a, right? A, th- a crave case? Like 30. 30- 30 in cheeseburgers. In a half an hour? No, it's no say, time limit. Well, no time limit. Okay, but to be reasonable, an hour. I mean, yeah, okay, it's, no, only, it's, only, it's only 15 double cheeseburgers. All right. Well, there's more bread, though. I was going to say 20. Double. I don't know how many are in a crave case, but I could. I, there's 30 in a crave case. I, if I go to I'll White Castle. I'll say this that is because, a, this because is a, I'm calling you motherfuckers out, and yeah. I guarantee I will beat both. We're going to do this. On, oh, maybe, I don't know if we can do it on the air. That's that might be logistics. Kind of boring. Yeah, but uh, we're gonna, gonna we're gonna to us give you guys the results. <laughs> listen to these nom, fucking nom, these fat nom, motherfuckers. Nom, nom. Just they're just eating, mm. just fucking eating. I hate you. Mm. I hate these cheeseburgers. So <laughs> now after the first two, it's life. like, oh my god, yeah. this is Apparently amazing. I hate my colon. <laughs> yeah. after the four, where, where did I go wrong? <laughs> after fourteen, you're just like, fuck my life. Yeah. Where did I go? Wrong? All right. So why keep final four? Final four. All right. What do we got? Bacon. Zilla. How the fuck did that make it on? Whammy. Right? Oh, whammy. Yeah. yeah. It's ba- so good. What are you talking about? Bacon Zilla fuck? up against Jack in a Box Taco. Yeah. Let's go with, let's, let's just go through that. This is, this is the final four. This is, uh, I mean, I know right. what's going to happen for the here, championships, but it's so fucking good. It's my favorite burger. Yeah. Bacon Zilla. Bacon Zilla. Oh, wow. Whammy. I assumed you would go, whammy. oh, that's right. Whammy, You're bitches. Not a taco guy. Jack in the box taco. He's whammy in the taco on to the next round. Wow. That's fine. They, at right. least he pissed it away. Yeah. 
Well, it's in the final. It's in the fucking championship, right? At least he pissed it away, Man. and I can step on the nuts that are. <laughs> and then we have taco. the big Buford up against the White Castle cheeseburger. Mm. Now you haven't now gone first is, yet, Ryan. You go first. Rough. White first. Castle cheeseburger. Oh, okay. Big Buford. Oh man, I mean, they're both so good. I only because it has all that extra shit on it that I don't like. Veggies and stuff. This is I can't bullshit. go big Buford. I'm going White this Castle is cheeseburger. Ah! Yeah, that's what <laughs> you I know, mean. You know, you, I thought you, you, so you played me. No. So, I thought you were going down a big Buford lane. No, I so, don't like so all that the, extra stuff. So the final championship is a fucking shit taco <laughs> versus a shit burger. <laughs> The whammy they, thing did not work in our marriage. No, it didn't. I fucking but hate it. The, 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 final, the final championship is is two items that you need at least six of. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Can we, uh, for argument's sake, can you go back and look at what got whammied and what would have moved on? Can we compare uh, that? Shit. Uh, so, Baconzilla. Joe whammied something first. So, great. Joe, Joe whammied the uh, double cheeseburger plain, which... Uh, original recipe KFC okay. would have moved on, but what would have that gone up against? It would have gone up against Jack in the Box tacos. Tacos would have won, I think. Right, I agree. Yeah. Okay. And then you oh, whammy the what you whammy the baconzilla, baconzilla, which would have the ultimate cheeseburger from Jack in okay. the Box. Now, what would have that gone up against? Uh, eventually, would have gone up against Jack in the Box taco. All right. What would you ultimate? Oh yeah, you're not I a tacos whammy, guy. I whammy the Jack in the Box taco. So the Jack in the Box See, taco I think tacos had, to would fight, it... had to fucking fight tooth and nail yeah. to get to the final final uh, bout. I, here. I would and have that, said tacos. And that is absolutely why I'm voting way against it. <laughs> well, I mean, either way, either way, these are both solid choices. The yeah. White Castle cheeseburger, yeah. the Jack in the Box taco. Speaking of, we need to wrap this up so they're we can both, go eat. They're both fucking terrible. <laughs> Well, all right. Uh, so where do, where, so I'm, where do you stand? I, I, I've got to go with the burger because I fucking hate the taco. And how many can you eat? How, which one? He's well, the way I can eat cheeseburger. A I'll whole thirty? Thir- I'll fucking pound them. Down. I 30? don't know, man. I'll get. I'll drive them down. It's the taste fatigue. You your mouth. Your brain starts getting sick of it after. Yeah. 10. You yeah. look at you look at me. Do you, you think I have any <laughs> taste fatigue? I want to do. I want to try it. it I want to have this challenge. Fair point. That's true. I also would vote for the White Castle cheeseburger. Well, it doesn't matter what I stand, but uh, you would have voted taco, wouldn't you? Jack yeah, it's okay. Joe and I are on the same page here. But our champion White of Castle fucking titty burger is, <laughs> is the White Castle cheeseburger, which I uh, who the fuck had thought? And nobody whammied that shit. That made it there on right? its own. Nobody, nobody on its fought own for the White Castle cheeseburger <laughs> at any and point. Just fucking vanilla uh, Villanova did its way in and yeah. that shit. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's very good. Oh yeah. shit. Well, uh, well, you know, whatever. Fuck it. How, I, if uh, people want to let us know what their favorite fast food. I'm sure is. we've forgotten things. How I mean, can they let us know? Stop they- wheezing and type. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they could tell us at Load This Podcast on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Send us an email. You're right there, right? He's a bit of a so, uh, uh Load this podcast at gmail.com. Yeah. Sorry about that. And uh, on Facebook, you know, I don't uh, think I've been offensive enough on this episode. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do with that taco, Joe? I I'd ball it up. I think I would tie it in two knots. I would jam it in my ass. And then I would pay a ninety pound Asian whore to come over to my house and jerk me off. And when I got real close, she would yank the knot of the taco out of my ass. And I would get two explosions. Hashtag. And, and I would get a. I would give her a hundred dollars. Almost so fifty dollars of explosion. Hashtag taco knot. <laughs> Oh, not. I Taco think not. I think I think we just does hashtag me yeah, too. That's like ear out. pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think we just created a new right, hashtag. Yeah. I don't think me too works yeah, in that hashtag example. Taco not. I think a lot of people just so, vomited yeah, in their vehicles. Yeah. Taco yeah. not. <laughs> that's what I. That's what I. You know what I. I, I wasn't is, offensive enough, and I think now I've, I've well, reached my quota. I, 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 Someone is in a jack in the box drive through right now, ordering like, well, taco not. I guess I'm not getting the taco. <laughs> This taco knot? Where's the whore? <laughs> You're going to have to order her separately. Some more naive people might think a taco knot is just a taco that went to space. Oh, my and, God. In Russia. 
Wah, wah. Yeah. Jesus. That's funny shit, Talk fuckers. or not. Sure it is. <laughs> oh, my God. Sure it is. <laughs> hey, kids. Who wants a joke at Halloween? <laughs> Ryan's got a bunch of them. What do you call a taco that went to space? A taco night. <laughs> no, that's wah, what Joe puts wah. in his butt. <laughs> <laughs> Two of I've them. I've heard that joke before. Two of them. Yeah. All right. Well, fuck. What, what? kind of astronaut does <laughs> Joe put in his ass? A taco <laughs> nut. That's the joke. <laughs> it's a wa- it's a wash rag, actually. Oh my god. All right. Holy shit. Well, thanks shit. for putting up with our uh, fast food bullshit. <laughs> our antics. Sweet sixteen. I'm fucking hungry. I'm hungry and drunk. Yeah. Yeah. And drunk. So uh... <laughs> let's not lie about it, fellas. Yeah, as usual. W- fuck Friday Tom night. Brady. Fuck Tom, Tom Brady. Tom, oh no, no, we're not on half what? loaded. We're, so we we're Cubs. Oh yeah, it's Wait the Cubs this time. I thought you were tired of fucking the Cubs. I am kind of tired of fucking. I am the Cubs. tired. You know what? We should. No little, one should ever you know be what? tired of fucking hey, the Cubs. Those little baby I bears can only take so much. I'm telling you right now. You know what fuck I'm tired em. of? I'm tired of racism. Fuck racism. Fuck I agree. Racism. Fuck racism. Fucking assholes, you oh, fucking racist Can we fucks. agree on fuck the douchebaggery? Hmm. That's even better, but let's fuck douchebaggery and racism. And Cubs. Yeah. Yeah, fuck them Cubs. Yeah, right. Hardcore. All right. Until I will, I will, I, will wipe, I will wipe the anal snot off my balls. Wow. wow. On I don't even the know. Cubs. Do, do. And racist. I'm I'm a little worried that you have that. You might want to have that checked out. After I get done banging <laughs> racism and, and douchebaggery douche in its fucking rectum, there's going to be wow. buildup. And wow. I'm going to take that that, that right. asshole <laughs> snot and I'm going to wipe it across the, the Cubs Sanchez. Mustache. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to Sanchez and motherfuckers. A All simple right. uh, exit uh, slogan we turned did, into. We didn't have that. Yeah. Did we? Oh. I do feel as hey, if I've met my quota. How do you feel about upsetting. Russ Salzburg? Oh my god! Fucking fuck, fucking raw <laughs> Russ Salzburg, that fucking asshole. Fuck I, him. And I think fuck we scared his him podcast. away. I, 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 hey, I've looked for his him. podcast. He's gone. Hey, we no, he ran into fucking oh, yeah. woods. Hey, yeah, he's done. Russ, tell you what, Russ, no one was here. What the fuck you saying? Yeah, and actually, and he's a can, big New York broadcaster, right? I yeah. mean, he had like real guests. I bet he did. <laughs> bet we he had, did. We you had know, Mike you know, on that You one know what time. he did? Yeah. You know what he did? He called his fucking podcast the wrong name. That's what the That's fuck. Right. I did. can't agree more with you, Joe. He 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 picked the wrong. He's like, hey, you know what? These guys are like this, and then he fucking put it out. And you know what he did? He stepped on my nuts. You know who else? And agrees I don't with like you? that. Who? Russ Salzberg's wife. Yeah, she's like, hey, asshole. Actually, she's Change probably been like looking for his phone number. She's like, wait a minute, what are you gonna do? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you chili dog me. Uh, all right, big guy. All right. <laughs> Until you what, next time. <laughs> fuck, fuck Russ Salzberg. I'm Jared. I'm Ryan. This is Joe. And get a load of this. They're upsetting Jared. I can hear your bottles. Balls are jingling. This is going to be a great episode. I'm I'm ready to go home and eat. Oh, yo. I'm hungry. And I already already know what I'm eating tonight. I ate fucking like five slices of pizza. Pizza pizza before I came in. I'm still fucking starving. I ate ate my lunch, which was two (laughs) cuties, an apple, some chips, and a chicken, uh, boar's head chicken. Jesus Christ. I'm lucky you're not eating Man. your own arm right now. Right, that's that's all I've had today. <laughs> but let's go to I made let's burgers. Go to Denny's. I made burgers this week. Let's go. Let's go. So, well, Den- well, Denny's. Yeah. But, Denny's uh, late night is about the only way to go. Breakfast. I can't eat Denny's with a clear conscience. <laughs> I fucking hate Denny's, and, yeah. and and my girls want to go there all the time. Well, see, you know what? Yeah. The problem with Denny's is that I know people that have worked at Denny's. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. And I don't hey, trust and those and assholes. And but have, isn't it the and only have, like all night place in town? Yeah, no. yeah, but that doesn't mean you should eat you there. Get desperate, hey, desperation leads yeah. to so a guy that a guy that won't open. pee in his work bathroom, no. but, but he's you gonna don't go let eat. someone masturbate in your mashed potatoes. <laughs> no, if they fry them right, this is a crispy hash browns. <laughs> yeah, this is a full episode, right? This is a We're full, planning this to do is a, full. This is full. Jesus Christ! You know what time it is, gentlemen? Is Game it? Time. What time is it? Ooh. What time is it? Really? It is. 11.41. 11.41 to all, all right. our listeners. So time for another beer. Hey, hey, we did this last week, or last time, yeah. it was 3 in the morning. It was fucking 3 in the morning yeah. I got home. Was it that late? Yeah. 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 We Fuck should probably. Stick. 
I got the uh, stink eye from my wife at when I got upstairs. So, uh, hey, look at that. Let, look hey, look at that one. So one, what uh, we what we need to do is let's let's hammer one this pump. out. Hey, yeah, one pump. Hey, <laughs> I remember prom night. <laughs> so let's hammer this out and then let's fucking spit and lick and quit. Let's go. And we go home. Whatever that means. Yep. And that means yeah. what that means is I've got some seventy three twenty seven burgers that I made up. What is that? A year. Seventy three percent fat. Twenty percent. What? What is this? Seventy three percent meat. Twenty seven percent. Plenty of flavor. Yeah. My math is fault. Uh, flawed. And uh, I Man, made God. them up. So I'm going to go home. Fire, and fire the fire only way, and I'll say this so everyone knows, you want to reheat a burger in your home. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The best way. You to have where my is attention. Take a paper towel. Okay. okay. Wet it. All right. All right. Wipe then, your balls. No. Okay. No. No. Keep your balls completely away from all that's happening. <laughs> it's generally take the advisable. take the burger, <laughs> if it's barbecued or not or whatever. <laughs> take the burger and you lay it in the wet napkin. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Microwave it. All right. <laughs> Forever long you want to heat it up. Doesn't matter. Well, I mean, ten minutes is gonna turn to a hockey a good puck. Nine so, or ten minutes. So you do it a minute, a good minute half, half hour. But then every half an hour, yeah, you put that walk three seventy five. Got to make sure you walk away. So, bang rate, a minute. All right. Completely. Uh, so it's, it's like the, it's, it's the it, wet paper towel that matters. Well, huh? it, it it brings back the moisture. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah. Nice. So I'm you don't jam, you don't jam a fork in it when you put it in the microwave. Why would you do that? No, why would you, why would you do that? That's that's fucking that a that metal right, fork. Hey, <laughs> Come Corky, on, <laughs> your song's coming on soon. Okay. <laughs> no, uh, but I'm that's telling, offensive. <laughs> I will tell you this. I'm not lying. Put the fucking wrap. I'm gonna it, try just, that next time. And then no, uh, I, I I believe that a wet paper towel in the microwave or or just even like they talk about like if you're heating up buns or bread you put a, a mug of water yeah. uh, hmm. uh, like just a coffee mug of water moisture in there. to it yeah just to bring some moisture into the mix at you any know? rate when 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 you bring that out it's juicy it's mm-hmm. succulent mm-hmm. it's not that you know you know what I'm talking about yeah yeah. You, yeah it's not you guys ever microwave bacon yeah yes you like that yeah yeah well I did BLTs yeah. Mm-hmm. You mean M&I. like art pre-cooked and you just heat it yeah. or raw no, bacon? No, no, no. Raw bacon. You put it in the microwave. microwave. No, yeah, but I've baked it. I've yeah. baked yeah. it in the yeah. oven. That's We've great. Done that. What's your bacon preparation method of, of choice? Is of it, choice is yeah. frying it. Yeah, in a pan, right? Yeah. 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 Or on a griddle, right? right. Frying do you have it. a griddle? Do you have a flat griddle? We got, do, no. yeah. yeah. No. We do, too. Ours is broke. Um, your griddle's broke? Is well, it a the, flat the, piece of metal? Oh. The thing that holds the grease is right. broke. We had a real Are nice we, one that folded in oh, half. Oh, we're, we're on our taste right now. Yeah. This is all bacon talk. Bacon <laughs> talk USA. No, I I, I, I love the griddle. But bacon I, talk I USA. Up, I threw it away. Huh. I threw it away because... He threw it the fuck away. First world problems. Because I, threw I, pl- my griddle I, away. I plugged it into Mama an outlet. Griddle don't make plugged no it sense. Plugged it sense. into an outlet that was on a GFI. Okay. And the GFI was tripped. Yeah. And, you and I thought, thought and I thought the oh, griddle was broken. On. Yeah. It was stupid. Wow. I was, I was young. So, I was young. That's so yeah, racist. It happens. And uh, and I threw away a perfectly good griddle because of a threw GFI outlet. And then I went and bought this what inferior could griddle. Have been Our griddle is not a, a plug in. We, we need to have a whole separate show <laughs> that's just songs from Joe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I need to start archiving this shit. <laughs> yeah. I'll right. tell you what I used to wipe with. He just really likes <laughs> to hear himself sing. <laughs> he really enjoys And hey, I do, too. I mean, I think, all I, like I think everybody loves it. Singing songs yeah. for the south. <laughs> Bring it down. So, all right. Let's uh, do this. Let's right. kick this motherfucker off. Oh, Jesus.